While we have sunny skies today, the rest of the nation hasn't been so lucky this past month. As and local news reporter John Woodruff joins us now from Sarasota Bradenton International Airport with how it's affected the Sun Coast. John? It's been a familiar sight this winter. Snow, ice, and grounded flights. Airports across the nation have been hit hard by winter storms, but airlines remain prepared. It's easier for the airlines to cancel the flights early because they can recover, recover much quicker by having their crews available and ready to start back operations as soon as the storm's passed. While Sarasota Bradenton International Airport doesn't contend with ice storms, the runways help airline companies divert flights. When Delta knew that the ice storm was going to come through Atlanta, they wanted to try to get as many aircraft out of Atlanta before the storm hit so that they didn't have to de-ice them. So we had between three and five aircraft uh, overnight here. Mark Stuckey is the SRQ Vice President of Special Projects and Development. He says technology has helped prevent stranded passengers. The airlines gather information such as your email or your text uh, phone number. They're able to contact you 24 or 48 hours in advance to let you know your flight's been canceled and what they've rebooked you on. The effect on passengers and airport workers is minimal, but managers at the airport say the real impact is financial. We were down 2.1%. If you take the aircraft that were scheduled to be in here, we would have been up 6%, 6.5% approximately is what we're estimating. Reporting in Sarasota, John Woodruff, SNN Local News.